What does your organizational chart look like? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. You know, an organizational chart is very beneficial for cleaning companies uh, because what it does, as you continue to grow your business, it really outlines the positions that you need in order to go to the next level. So for example, in my chart behind me here, uh, this chart is for a company that is doing $250,000 in revenue and they're going to scale to $500,000. And so when we're at $250,000, typically you have the owner and you got some part-time cleaners. And now you have to remember, an organizational chart is exactly that. It's just a chart, something that you can go by. You can run as lean or as heavy as you want with positions. So keep that in mind. So in this example, like I say though, at $250,000 we have the owner and then we got part-time cleaners. So the, the owner is still clean and they're still managing and wearing all the hats. And they're generating $250,000 in revenue. Now in order for them to scale and go up to $500,000 in revenue, obviously we know that first of all they're going to have to have a good uh, marketing system in place so they can get leads, uh, do walkthroughs, give proposals and close deals. That's a no-brainer. But once they're doing that, they also have to have the positions uh, filled in order to get the work done. So that means that they need to have a good hiring system also. So those are two key components as you're thinking of scaling and working your organizational chart. So for a company that wants to go to the $500,000 in revenue mark, that means that they're going to expand into the, the red areas here. These are the additional positions that you would have to have in order to generate that kind of income and take care of the client. So, you know, you have the owner, you have your part-time cleaners, but now you're going to have to bring on some, some full-time cleaners, a full-time supervisor, more than likely, a uh, full-time office person, obviously, because you're not going to be able to have time to handle all that. Uh, you, as the owner, you're probably still out there doing some sales. You could be still doing some cleaning. Again, it depends on how lean you want to run and, you know, and what your ambitions are as to getting out of the field. Um, I always advise that you know, don't, don't think that you got to get out of the field right away because that's a big mistake. If you don't have more knowledge than your cleaners about what's going on, that's a problem. So keep that in mind. So anyway, in order for us to get to that $500,000 mark, we're going to add these positions. The nice thing about that is because now we can see our growth. We, need, we see what we need to do, which is fantastic. So we already know, too, that based off of how we got to our $250,000 mark, you know, we've got X amount of accounts and they're averaging so many, so many uh, dollars per month. Well, by doing that and using that calculation, you're going to know how, how many accounts you're going to need to get to $500,000. Now, and it really depends on the size of account that you have. Um, so let's say if uh, you're out there targeting small and mid-sized accounts, uh, obviously it's going to take uh, more accounts uh, if you have all small accounts within three to 5,000 square feet. It's going to take a few to, to generate $250,000. Uh, but now if you're targeting mid-sized accounts uh, where you know, you're 30 to 70,000 square feet, well, you know, then maybe you're making anywhere from uh, you know, $2,000 to $4,000 a month on those accounts or more you know, it's not going to take you as many accounts to generate $250,000. Or if you're going for going after large accounts to where, you know, that large account maybe produces, uh, you know, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 per month, you can see where you don't need a whole whole lot of accounts to get to that $250,000 mark. In fact, if you had one, one account that was generating $20,000, there you go, you got your quarter of a million dollars right there. So, uh, you know, so keep that in mind. So that's how you can plan out how you're going to scale and uh, know what your organizational chart will look like uh, as you're building. Now the other thing, like I say, with you're going to have these additional positions, uh, what's very important is to have your hiring system in place. So that means for all these uh, added positions that are in red, we're going to have to have uh, job descriptions for each one of those. You know, and that's very, very important. Uh, the biggest mistake I see a lot of cleaning companies make is that they're, they, they get out there and they get business, they get business, and they're just moving fast. They're, and they're moving too fast because most of them don't have any systems in place to, to support the business. And eventually they just hit a brick wall because uh, whatever reason they didn't have some system in place because they're in too big of a hurry to grow and, and generate revenue. 
only to hit that brick wall and have everything come to a sudden stop. It's happened many times. I've talked to many contractors that that's happened to. Then when that happens is because they don't have their systems in place, uh, they start losing accounts. So here they've built their business up to do 500000 in revenue, but yet they neglected their systems and they fall back down to where they're only doing 300000 in revenue. But anyway, those are the things that you got to keep in mind. Uh, you have to have your systems in place in order to scale your business. And that one of the things is that you have to have an organizational chart so you can map out where you're going, where you're at, and where you're going. It, it makes things so easy. So what you can do is if you don't have an organizational chart, uh, go to the janitorialstore.com or myhousecleaningbiz.com, go into the download library. Uh, we've got organizational charts. Uh, you know, I've structured them f uh, from uh, you know so long to per all the way up to a company doing two million dollars in revenue. So you know it's all laid out there, and like I say, uh, you you can run as lean or as heavy as you want in your business. And what I mean by that is that when you run and lean, that means you have fewer uh, fewer positions, fewer employees, fewer team members. You know, uh, there can be benefits to that, and, but there can also be hassles. So the same thing is true as if you're running heavy. Uh, if you don't have the, the revenue coming in to, to support your team, uh, pay your payroll and so on and so forth, well then that, that's an issue. So, you know, it's a fine balancing act. But uh, as long as you have some systems in place and you have charts like this here, like the organizational chart, you'll be able to keep things in balance and in check and you'll be able to continue to scale your business, you know, until you're doing that $750, $2 million mark, you know, and beyond that. So, you know, it's very possible you can do that. Uh, you know, I know many companies that are at that million dollar mark. I know many companies that are beyond that. And then I also know some companies that are hitting that, those mega numbers, you know, $350 million in revenue per year. Per year. You know, and that's, uh, when you get to those numbers, it's, it's astounding, you know, uh, that a cleaning company can generate, you know, $350, $350 million per year. You know, but uh, when you hit that, you know, they've had an organizational chart. They've got systems in place, you know. They've got you know, they've got their uh, their game together. So, and that's what really what you have to do is uh, you know make sure that you have your systems in place. Uh, you know, use the resources that you have, such as the janitorial store and my house cleaning biz. Uh, I just don't get why so many people are relying on social media uh, for their information. There's so much bad information on there; it's just unbelievable. But you know, some people will live and learn. They'll, they'll take that advice. They'll go with the information that they're getting for free. And uh, it's going to nip them in the butt. But, you know, that's that's their problem. There's resources out here, such as the janitorial store in my house cleaning biz, you know, from uh, folks like us that have been in the industry for, you know, 30 plus years and uh, have built multiple successful companies. And, you know, the, the advice that we're given is solid advice based off of what we've accomplished, not on theory. So... Keep that in mind when, when you're gathering your information and where you're getting your information from. So, well anyway, uh, that's all I have for today. If you like the, this video, go ahead and click on the like button and the share button. And if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll find hundreds of uh, videos on how to run a successful cleaning company. Uh, so until next time, we'll see you.